Okay, so let's move on and let's start to get to some proofs about congruences. So remember, congruence, this is a relation. So when we talk about relations, we have these three properties of reflexive, symmetric, and transitive. So we'd like to know with this congruence, is this any of those three? So just a little brief recall of the definition that we had of congruence. And so we said that A is congruent to B mod N if and only if there exists a K that's in the integers such that A minus B is equal to KN. Or in other words, the difference of A and B is going to be a multiple of N. And again, remember, we said that the intuition we can have is looking at remainders. So if we subtract two things with the same remainder we divide by n, that becomes a multiple of n. All right, so if we take a look at some of these, let's look at reflexive. So the question is, is a number congruent to itself mod n? Or in other words, does that number have the same remainder when we divide it by n as itself? Well, yes, right? So that seems to be fairly obvious, hopefully, that a has the same remainder as a when you divide it by n, right? So, so reflexive, what we'd like to do is we will do a proof of this. So we can say let a be an element of the integers and n be a natural number. So we're starting out with an arbitrary integer and an arbitrary natural number. So we're saying that for any integer and any modulus, or this n value here, we're going to show that a is congruent to a. So we'll show that a is congruent to a mod n. So we'd like to show this. Remember, we can't assume this is true. So if you're like, oh, well, a... A is congruent to A mod N, so that means A minus A is equal to N times whatever. That's not, it's not good, right? We want to be able to get this as our conclusion. So we do want to use this, though, to help us get there. So we're going to look at this statement over here, that if A and A both appear there, why does there exist an integer K, right? That's, that's basically the goal here, is to show the existence of a K that works. So notice that we have a minus a is equal to 0, which is the same thing as 0 times n. So I show that a minus a, that's equal to 0, but that's the same thing as 0 times n. And obviously, 0 is an integer, right? So notice this is true. Hence, a is congruent to a mod n. Right. You could state that since zero is an integer, then this is true, but that's okay. The, the important part here is that we're just kind of working through more of these definitions in the right direction. All right, so that's reflexive. So then when it comes to symmetric then, so if A is congruent to B mod N, does that mean that B is congruent to A mod N? Or in other words, if A has the same remainder as B when it's divided by N, does B have the same remainder as A when it's divided by N? Well, yes, hopefully we have that intuition as well. So we're going to need a proof here. So we're going to say let A and B be integers, uh, N be a natural number such that A is congruent to B mod n. So we're going to prove that this is true. So remember, when we're trying to show that something's reflexive, we show that it's, uh, itself is an out, or the, the relation with itself is true. Here we're going to show that if the relation holds for one direction, 